Get ready for this futuristic challenge. I'm the Flannel Fox, Tim Swernick, and I reviewed Future Grind on the Nintendo Switch. Future Grind is a stunt racer that feels a lot more like a modern day 2D platformer in its gameplay. Piloting a futuristic inverted bike, you control the rotation of your bike with the left joystick and have a double jump. The bike balances on the track so that you have to rotate accordingly to keep yourself level while grinding. Mechanically, that's about it, but the simple gameplay is incredibly addicting once it gets its hooks in you. It's surprising just how intuitive controlling the bike feels considering how unique the mechanics are. Each stage consists of a colored light rail track that you grind on and jump between to reach the finish line, with some simple rules that make all the difference. Each wheel on your bike can only touch a rail of the same color, touching white rails will end a combo, and if you fall below that track, you're dead. However, you restart the track incredibly fast, so trying goofy paths through the track is a fun exploration as you can instantly jump right back in if you fail, which will happen a lot as you decide how you want to make your way through each level or level challenge. Getting through a level hitting every color change will warrant a different path than if you're trying to avoid every white rail. Each stage will give you two additional challenges after the survive the track, which you must complete to continue your stunt career. As you progress through the game, you unlock new bikes, each with varying mechanics, switching up the gameplay significantly. From a bike with a huge bottom wheel and a tiny top wheel changing up the weight distribution, to a bike with only one wheel, getting good with each one will take some time. These bikes are to be used with specifically made tracks for each bike, not allowing you to choose your own bike for yourself, which was a bit of a bummer when finishing the game as I would have gone back through to beat certain levels with different bikes. As far as tricking out in Future Grind, it doesn't have anywhere close to the same feeling as pulling off a sweet move in something like Tony Hawk. The tricks in this game feel unrelatable, and while you can pull off some rad moves, they all feel like means to moving through the levels, which isn't a bad thing. When playing Future Grind, it feels more like a challenging 2D platformer. Yes, some of the per-level challenges will be to complete a 720 front flip or do three undergrinds. However, what the challenges really do are to make you find a new route through the track. As you'll see when playing, there are a number of different ways that you can get to the finish line, some of the challenges making it so difficult that it brought back memories of dying 30 times trying to get through a difficult level in Super Meat Boy. You know that cringing feeling where you're oddly still smiling, knowing that you just have to keep trying because when you get the one run where you pull off every move just right, it is so darn satisfying. Now before you pull all of your hair out, Future Grind offers accessibility options for those looking for a lighter challenge. You can slow down the speed of your bike or turn on safe wheels where you can land on any color track with any wheel. Future Grind is an absolute delight on the Nintendo Switch. What at first seemed like a light futuristic motorcycle game ended up being a challenging side-scrolling experience. A modern take on a traditional genre, these bite-sized challenges are hard to put down. Having a great time with Future Grind, I do wish the game was a bit longer or had some replayability options post-game, but what is here is fantastic and I'll definitely keep my eyes peeled for a sequel or some DLC. So for now I'm giving Future Grind on the Nintendo Switch an 8 out of 10. If you enjoyed this video game review, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Flannel Fox. Check out a video of me playing a super frustrating level in Future Grind that I could just not get past, which I'll link to at the end of this video and in the description. Follow me on Metacritic and Twitter at The Flannel Fox and on Instagram at The Flannel Fox Gamer. Be sure to follow and subscribe because the more followers and subscribers I get, the more codes I get, which means I make more videos. Thanks to Milkbag Games for providing me with this review copy. Thanks for watching my videos, and as always, see you next time, Switchers.